In this video, we will explore the Fitel S179 Fusion Splicer and how to set it up, perform fiber to fiber splicing, and terminate a splice on connector. What are the features of the Fitel S179 Fusion Splicer? The Fitel S179 is a handheld core alignment fusion splicer that offers powerful performance, delivering fast and reliable optical fiber splicing. The large capacity battery allows the technician to splice 200 times on one charge. It has a 4.3 inch touchscreen and it is compatible with FIS splice on connectors. The best practice for an arc calibration is always to use single mode fiber and to do an arc calibration every time before you use it. The splicer has to adjust for altitude, humidity, temperature, and barometric pressure to set the correct power for arcing. Take two pieces of single mode fiber, strip the jacket, remove the acrylic coating, and clean with isopropyl alcohol. And since we are using a Fitel splicer, use the Fitel fiber holders to cleave the fiber to the standard length of 10 millimeters. Place the fibers on both ends of the splicer and close the lid. Press the blue menu button on the bottom right and you will see in the middle of the screen, arc check. When the test is done, you'll be ready to splice. Now you have completed an arc calibration on the Fitel S179 Fusion Splicer. Before you start fiber to fiber splicing, you need to set up the splicer. First, touch the screen to select and set up the fiber. In the splice program, you can choose different options, but for this video, we are selecting single mode, which is SMF Auto. Now the splicer is set up for single mode fiber. Below the fiber type selection is the heat oven setting. We're using a 60 millimeter splice sleeve. Select power 900, 60 millimeter. Now the splicer is set up on single mode fiber with a 60 millimeter splice sleeve. On one of the fibers, put the 60 millimeter splice sleeve on before prepping the fiber and splicing. Take the two pieces of single mode fiber, strip the jacket, remove the acrylic coating, and clean with isopropyl alcohol. And since we are using a Fitel splicer, use the Fitel fiber holders to cleave the fiber to the standard length of 10 millimeters. Place the fibers on both ends of the splicer and close the lid. Press the arrow button on the screen. After the splice, the splicer will display the splice loss. Open the lid and carefully open the fiber clamps and move the splice sleeve to the exposed splice. Open the onboard oven lid and lay the fiber in the center. The oven will melt down the splice sleeve to offer protection. The splice sleeve protects the splice in two different ways. One, the strength member inside is for the rigidity, since the jacket has been stripped, and two, the compound inside to seal the exposed glass from the outside environment. The oven will go through a cooling cycle and an audible beep to let you know when it's done. Now you have completed a fiber to fiber splicing on the Fitel S179 Fusion Splicer. Before terminating a splice on connector, you need to set up the splicer. Make sure that the fiber type is still on single mode fiber. Next is the heat oven setting. Select it and choose 40 millimeter. Now the Fitel Fusion Splicer is set up for splice-on connectors. First, remove the right side fiber holder 
and replace it with the FIS Fitel splice on connector holder. For this video, we are using the LC Cheetah 900 micron splice on connector. Take the splice on connector and place it onto the SOC holder. Take the field fiber, slide the custom 900 micron boot, and the 27 millimeter splice sleeve. After that, strip the jacket and remove the acrylic coating, clean with isopropyl alcohol, and cleave the fiber to the standard length of 10 millimeters. Place the fiber on the left side of the splicer, close the lid, press the arrow button, After the splice, the splicer will display the splice loss. Open the lid, and then the fiber clamp. Next, gently slide down the splice sleeve to the back of the splice on connector, so it grabs both sides of the 900 micron type buffer. Open the lid of the onboard heat oven, and place the splice on connector in the oven. The oven will go through a cooling cycle and an audible beep to let you know when it's done. Pull out the connector and slide down the 900 micron boot to the back of the connector. Now you have completed a splice on connector termination on the Fitel S179 Fusion Splicer. Get the Fitel S179 Fusion Splicer at FiberInstrumentSales.com or contact your FIS representative at 1-800-5000-FIS.